Hello, my name is Ben Cathro and I'm here reporting in for Pink Bikes Inside the Tape from Mont St. Anne, Canada. Today is the morning of qualifying. This is the last practice session before riders have to lay down a time. So they're just finalizing their lines, getting up to speed and getting ready to see if they're going to make it into the final. Let me walk you down the track and we'll see what's going on. In the run up to the final woods, the track crosses a piece with a slight left compression. Riders really pump the bike into the compression to help the tires bite in and turn sharper. After that, riders then dive into the next wood section which holds some mighty compressions, some interesting lines and one massive huck. The first drop has some nasty rocks that you need to clear, then you have four choices. Right, middle right, middle left and left. Easiest line is the right. It's new this year and is quite popular as you miss the big compression on the left. Other option is middle right, gapping off this stump and into the compression. Also you have the middle left which was last year's favourite line. Finally, there's a far left line that a few adventurous souls were hitting. It's a bit of a detour to get there, but not that much benefit. After this, there's a drop into a compression, and on the live stream last year, I always wondered why people get so squirrely out of this section. The reason is these rocks. You have to be millimeter precise not to catch an edge of one, and it's easy to lose your balance. So hopefully now you've got a good understanding of the track, let's just watch a few riders blasting down it and see how they get on. Elliot Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. Are you going right of the tree or through the compressions? Man, I didn't even see it until yesterday on Marcel's GoPro. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look now and, and yeah. see because in years past, like every single year, I've it's like one of those parts you don't even think about line wise, and uh, now there's another line. Yeah. So you're so used to a track, you're blind to new yeah, options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. Sure. <laughs> Get some speed, so you just you won't slip. You know? do, do you try all the lines, or do you look and then you can decide only with looking? Yesterday I kind of tried two lines, and then I stick to the left one, by because I felt like it was not too bad. Yeah. But I need like right now I feel like I'm gonna try something else because I was not convinced yesterday. You know, I could feel like my heels hitting a lot of things and yeah. not being so like. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll see. More foof. <laughs> Bruni tried a couple of different lines after our conversation. Let's compare. Yellow. On the right hand version, Bruni gaps across to a rooty bank to reduce the compression. The difference is tiny, so Bruni, if you're watching this, just go for the most consistent one. Yeah, there's no grazers, so you just smacked it. <laughs> this dog is sick. You can kind of get through it. Private conversation, can <laughs> See with the, the sore hand, are you trying to go smoother this weekend or riding as normal? I am today, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday when it was wet, it was like sloppy and gloopy and you could just, I really enjoyed actually, you could just like smash through stuff. But today there's deep holes and yeah. with an injury you can't really hit them so I'm having to ride like a bit smarter and miss some holes. And, Hard to do here though. Yeah. Oh! Why? Why that? Oh! 
Let's get down to business. Side by side, or Pierre on the right line and Fairclough on the middle left. Oh, that was close. It's clear both lines can be done fast. Let's have another. Brosnan on the middle left and Hart on the right. At this point, they are pretty even. Which line's going to take it? Oh, it looks like the rocky compression stole some momentum from Brosnan. Hart takes the fastest time. Or does he? Yo, Greg. Hey, yo, bro. I think a lot of people have heard about uh, this gap that only you and Luca have tried. Do you feel like it's worth a lot of time? Yeah, I think it can be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's worth it for sure instead of dropping in these holes. You can yeah. Just never go. Lock it up. Oh, oh shit! So I didn't want to say at the start of the video, but I came here because there was rumor of Greg doing a gap. Apparently he's the only one that's ever done it properly. And uh, yeah, I was waiting and waiting and waiting. Yes, he finally did it. That was insane. He actually clipped his pedal on a stump just as he was uh, taken off, ripped it out of the ground. And I don't know how he didn't die. That was sick. Be interested to see if it's faster than the other lines though. Menars Huck versus Fastest Man Hart. Let's go. At this point, Hart's already got a massive lead due to Menars' shorter and slower run in from pushing up, but this gap has got to pull back some time. Oh, guess not then. To be fair, he did boot a stump out of the ground, which must have cost him at least uh, four seconds. Menar wins. The go grand champ. That was Inside the Tape for Pink Bike with me, Ben Castro. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see some other World Cup videos and other good content, you should subscribe to Pink Bike up here because there's lots of good stuff coming. Or if you want to see my other videos from the World Cup, you can subscribe to me down there. Or if you want to watch another rad video, hit that link there check that one out. Thank you very much for tuning in. Watch the full race this Saturday on Red Bull TV. It's going to be amazing.